This is the hardest part, starting. Hello, Tucson Folk Festival. Nina Gerber and I are so happy to be a part of this festival this year, and uh, we sure wish we could be actually there with you. But um, we've gotten a lot of requests, and we're going to try and get to as many of them as we can. And uh, just imagine that we are in Tucson. All right. Here's one called Old Friend. Old friend, you just grow dearer The lines grow deeper The paths grow clearer I recall your every look Each of them an open book Nice, Nina. Yeah. All right, here's a song that uh, goes out to Rebecca Rowland. She requested it. And uh, Nina and I have never played this song together before, although we've both recorded it with um, different musicians. So we know how it goes. We know two separate ways that it goes. We'll see if it goes together. It's a song written by Kate McLeod, and that's called 
Lark in the Morning. Let me move this in closer. that Rebecca that was fun and we had a request from Julie Sullivan you know I was thinking one day about uh, songs that would be fun to record and I thought of that uh, the old Carter family song Little Moses and I thought that song's great but you know it's way overdone like Joan Baez recorded it <laughs> way back when. It's, of course, it's not overdone. It's just my little brain thinks it is. Um, but it started me thinking about the the story of the song, and I thought, whatever happened to the Pharaoh's daughter after she rescued Moses? And, um, you know, I didn't know. So I went to my reference library pulled down the Bible and read Exodus, and it's all right there. Uh, although, uh, the Bible does kind of cut off what happened to the Pharaoh's daughter later. Apparently, uh, uh, in uh, earlier texts, she's very, very important. She became uh, uh, what's an exemplary woman and this song goes out to her because I thought 
She did an amazing thing. She needs a song. Are we ready? Oh, 
What do you say, Nina? It's about time to... We're doing all these songs about life. Let's do a little song about death. <laughs> Lord knows we've had a little too much of it too abruptly this last year. And uh, our hearts go out to everybody for every aspect of this whole thing. But... Um, There are some upsides to dying, I guess. One is that you get reborn as something else. One, two, three. <laughs> To this sweet earth when my time comes to go just lay me down beneath that ground so i can help this garden grow don't preserve my empty hall just plant me like a winter bulb and when the snow melts from my mound i'll help this garden grow oh i ain't I gonna go i gotta stay and help this garden grow it's dust to dust and then the mud nourishment for the tender bud don't pick on me but charm my skin just a hole and roll me in I ain't gonna go I gotta stay and help this garden grow And all kinds of beans and the sweetest tomato Knee-high grass for the horse and the cow A shady tree for the wind and the owl The prettiest spring you ever seen When I help this garden grow Oh, I ain't gonna go I gotta stay and help this garden grow It's dust to dust and then the mud Nourishment for the tender bud Don't pick on me or charm my skin Just dig a hole and roll me in I ain't gonna go I'm gonna stay and help this garden grow. A few years back, we lost another great icon of folk music, the wonderful Rosalie Sorrells. She left behind some amazing works of art, and this song is one of them. Nina and I first uh, performed it together at Rosalie's big memorial concert up in Boise, Idaho. And uh, I don't even remember how long ago that was. This last year seems like about 20 years, so 
everything. It was it was it was in the before times. I can tell you that. But uh, anyway, Nina played so beautifully on it that uh, we've been trying to sing it every time we get together. It's one called My Last Go Round. Two, three. What sweet love have I come by on my last go Soft caresses, tender sighs, have my heart unbound. I have wandered lost and wild onto sacred ground. I have loved just like a child. Sweet song. 
Right. Well, I've been um, going through some old recordings um, at home, and uh, one of the things I found is an amazing uh, live recording done at the Freight and Salvage uh, in 1998. And my band was Nina, Nina Gerber, and Daryl Anger, and Mike Marshall, and Todd Phillips, and Tom Rosen, and um, also Mary Gibbons and Kathy Kallick. And we were doing music from uh, my album, Seeing Things, which came out right then. It was the CD release show. And uh, so I kind of got into some of those old songs and I'm actually putting out a limited release album of that, that music recorded that night. And this is one of those songs, it's called Bane and Balm. Bane and bond in my 
my soul Angel bedeviling me You taunt and then console With a love that cannot be I need a drink of water. Not now. <laughs> oh, this is our home? No, ring of fire. All right. It's time for the big guns to come out. This is my Carl C. Holtz Apfel guitar, 12 strings, as you can see. Hopefully it's in tune. Otherwise, um, the whole rest of the concert will be tuning this guitar. <laughs> Let's see. Whoops. I went right to the right peg. Did you see that? I know how to count. <laughs> so uh, I went to hear a band one night and uh, they did uh, a version of Johnny Cash's incredibly great song, Ring of Fire. And I thought, and they were doing like a Johnny Cash cover, you know, and I thought, <clears throat> well, that's really a great song and I wonder what I would do with it if I wasn't trying to be Johnny Cash, because nobody can be Johnny Cash except the man in black himself. So uh, when I got home, I pulled out my 12 string, which I had just gotten recently. And I started singing it and it went like this. One, two. <laughs>
The ring of fire The ring of fire Oh, baby I could hear you all singing along. I swear, I swear, I heard, I heard you all in your cars watching the big screen, <laughs> wherever else you're watching from. Thank you for that. Here's a song. Um, well, uh, my latest album, of course, came out right at the beginning of the pandemic, the sh shutdown, and. Uh, we were planning on, we had tours all year long to promote my new album, which is called And Lori Lewis. It's all duets with wonderful people who I love. And um, one of those people is Nina Gerber. And uh, this is a song, one of the songs we did together. And I, I should say also at this point that you are hearing us from the Freight and Salvage in Berkeley. They have been so kind and wonderful to let us come in here and uh, record for you with their wonderful uh, camera set up and everything. And so thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Brian. And now back to the music. <laughs> called This Is Our Home. This 
Right after wrangling this, I'm going to pick up the fiddle. This is the opposite touch. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right. Um, this song, I think I first heard Jody Stecker record this song, and uh, I just fell in love with it. Such a strange, dark tale. And... Um, then, of course, a lot of people know it because I think Jerry Garcia recorded it. And uh, when I decided I just wanted to exercise it from my brain by actually learning it, <laughs> I decided uh, to listen to a bunch of different versions and I kind of fell in love with Peggy Seeger's version. So these are mostly the lyrics that she sings. Uh, it's an old Irish song called... Oh, the wind and rain. And it goes out to Aspen. Aspen Green re requested this, and I'm so glad she did. We've never done it together before, and we're going to try it. See what happens. All right. Early one morning in 
in the month of May Oh, the wind and the rain Two sisters went a-fishing on a hot summer's day Crying the dreadful wind and the rain Two sweet sisters side by side Oh, the wind and the rain Both of them want to be Johnny's bride Crying the dreadful wind Johnny gave the young one a golden ring Oh, the wind and the rain He didn't give the older one anything Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain Two sisters went a-walking by the water's brim Oh, the wind and the rain The older one pushed the younger one in Crying the dreadful wind and the rain she pushed her in the water to drown Oh, the wind and the rain And she watched her as she floated down Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain Till she came to the miller's pond Oh, the wind and the rain Father, father, there swims a swan Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain The miller ran for his drifting hook Oh, the wind and the rain And he pulled that young girl from the brook Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain he laid her on the bank to dry Oh, the wind and the rain And a fiddle affair came a-walking by Crying the dreadful wind and the rain He saw that poor girl a-lying there Oh, the wind and the rain And he took thirty strands of her long yellow hair Crying the dreadful wind Little bow of her long yellow hair, oh, the wind and the rain. And he made fiddle pegs of her little finger bones, crying the dreadful wind and the rain. And he made a little fiddle out of her breast bone, oh, the wind and the rain. With a sound that could melt a heart of stone, oh, the dreadful wind. And the only tune that fiddle would play Oh, the wind and the rain The only tune that fiddle would play Was oh, the dreadful wind Thank you. Don't piss off your older sister. <laughs> Let's see, now what do we got? That's the name of the big one. Oh yeah, okay. My buddy, El Burro del Norte, Peter McLaughlin, requested this song. And uh, so, I'll sing it for you, Pete. This is a song that Nina calls the whiner song because it is miserable. But uh, what can I say? I just write them. 
I'm really not that miserable. I think it's because all these sad songs make me so happy. Here I am Knocking on your door again One more time Hoping somehow I might win the light in your eyes Such sweet surprise that I used to give I come Though I know the light is out Still I come The passion is gone And I should move on Still I long to try again Look out your window And tell me what do you see It's all Nina, that was such a beautiful solo. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Don Guest asked us to do this song. So uh, this goes out to you, Don. And this is one that we really hope you all will sing along on. In order to make it easier for you to do it, I'm going to teach you the chorus. All right? Okay. All right. I'll sing a line of it and... Uh, you can sing it after me, okay? Good. Who will watch the home place? Your 
train. I won't be able to hear you, so there won't be any latency issues. So uh, just go for it. Holler all you want. This is Kate Long's masterpiece, Who Will Watch the Home Place? Leaves are falling turning in showers of gold as the postman climbs up our long hill and there's sympathy written all over his face as he hands me a couple more Its creatures and sounds could soothe my worst pains, but today they don't ease me at all. Who When I am gone from here 
One of the very, very few advantages to uh, being home in Berkeley instead of in Tucson is that I get to bring my Hardanger fiddle to the show. I wouldn't bring it down to Tucson. I, I think the um, weather wouldn't probably agree with it. But um, this is a Norwegian Hardanger fiddle. You can see it's very lovely. And um, I'm going to play a song on it that uh, was a great favorite of one of Tucson's shining stars in the music community. This goes out to the memory of Michael Ronstadt. It's called The Maple's Lament. I 
folks and uh thanks to Lori lewis for inviting me to play for you guys i want to come play the tucson festival in person someday but meanwhile this is really fun um i'm gonna do a song you can sing along uh since i won't hear you you can sing along as much as you want um this is uh i'm gonna dedicate this to the return of uh hope and civility and compassion and health
We want to thank everybody for who's responsible for us being at the Tucson Folk Festival this year. We wish we could really actually be there, but that'll be sometime in the future. Um, on behalf of Nina Gerber and myself, we really appreciate being here. Thank you to the Freight and Salvage for hosting this show so that you all can see it down there in Tucson. And um, we'll do a song for you that I wrote as I was, uh, I, I think I have to roll my sleeve up for this. Finally, I'm rolling up my sleeves and getting down to it here. Um, <clears throat> as I was uh, leaving Wyoming, where I was on a writing retreat, this is the last song I wrote as I was out the door. So it seems fitting that we should do this as we go out the door. It's one called, With Me Wherever I Go. I'll take 